Day from Max MMA. I'm here in Rochester, New York uh, with Ryan LaFlair, uh, UFC fighter. Ryan, how you doing? Awesome. Fantastic. I know, Ryan, you're here um, as part of this sort of traveling show today to help promote legalization of New York, right. uh, of MMA in New York. Tell us uh, how that's gone so far. Uh, it's going pretty well. You know, I'm, you know, definitely feels good to, you know, open people's eyes to, you know, so they know that MMA isn't as brutal as it was 15 years ago, you know, that it's a real sport, this is real people doing it, and, uh, you know, it should be legalized, it should be, you know, treated just as equal as boxing or any other sport. The big boss from UFC is traveling with you right. as well. How's that been? That's pretty awesome, man. He's probably the most down-to-earth guy. You know, you would never think. He's uh, definitely a good guy. Good guy to know. Cool. And we're, and we're of course, speaking about Lorenzo Fertitta, who will be here uh, shortly to uh, be a part of this uh, press conference here in Rochester. Um, speaking of Lorenzo, speaking of the UFC, uh, it's great to see you back in action. It's been, it was what, I think a two and a half year hiatus two we were just half, talking about? Two and a half years. And, uh, and you were <laughs> hiding. Uh, and you were, at that point you were 7-0 and oh, and then you went... Yeah, I was 6-0. 6-0 and, oh. and, oh, and then... 6-0. Oh. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I went back to uh, the ring of combat for, uh, for a warm-up fight pretty much, I guess. And I uh, had a tough fight against uh, Andrew Osborne. I uh, won a, by an uh, armbar submission in the third round. And uh, UFC, I got the call a couple weeks later at UFC. Nice. Started, uh, Taking names, kicking ass, and taking names. Right. Well, we've been uh, anxiously waiting your return right. uh, to fighting because uh, obviously you're one of the uh, hottest prospects right. coming out of New York State for sure. Um, so tell us about you know your training at Belmore Kickboxing Academy, but you also have your own gym, right. Long Island MMA. Tell us about that. The sport's evolving so much. You know, you know, it used to be you know you do your jujitsu at one place, you do your striking at another, you do your strength training at another. Uh, my gym, I pretty much offer the entire, the whole package. You know, we have some of the best wrestlers in the country at, at my gym. You know, all Americans and the best wrestling coaches in the country. And then we have uh, you know black belts in jujitsu. Uh, then we have the striking coach. I, you know, I, I still do my striking at Belmore Kickboxing, but we offer a great uh, striking program in my gym too. So. It's pretty much like the hybrid of uh, MMA gyms. It's uh, about 13,000 square feet, and we offer it all. Uh, any news on anything upcoming? Do you have uh, anything to share with us? I'm, I'm feeling healthy. healthy. Uh, I'm ready to get going in, uh, in August. Hopefully I get something going in August, maybe late June or early September. Um, you know, whenever they call me, I, I should be ready. Right. Well, again, it's great to have you back in action, and we look forward to uh, seeing you fighting in the future. Thank you very much. Fight.